Hey guys, it seems like there's been a leak of Android 4.3 for the Google edition of the Galaxy S4. Now, I don't have the Google edition for the Galaxy S4, so I'm gonna use my normal edition. You can install it, and this is gonna be a video tutorial on how to do that. Now, obviously, you do have to have a custom recovery. I've got TWRP. If you don't know how to do that, you can follow one of my other guides, but it's as simple as pretty much just flashing another custom ROM. So right now, I've got TouchWiz on here, and by the way, I did say Android 4.3. This isn't Android 4.2.2, this is the newest test build from Google that is not, not even on the Nexus devices right now, so it's kind of interesting. So you get into your recovery mode by holding up and power right here, and you'll see blue text. Once you see blue text, you let go of everything, and you should get into TWRP custom recovery. So we'll just wait for that. The links are included to the download, by the way, in the description. Here we go. And the first thing you're gonna to have to do, well, the first thing you should do is make a backup, which I've already actually done, but I've done that, so I'm just gonna do this wipe right here. You have to do this, otherwise you will just get errors all over the place. Once you've done your wipe, you can go to install, find where you put the uh, the ROM, you can see there, Android 4.3. Hit this, this is for the i9505, by the way, guys, and then confirm to flash. And here we go. So we're getting rid of TouchWiz on this Galaxy S4 and we're going with clean stock Android. Not only that, but it's the newest version of Android, stock 4.3. So uh, that's pretty amazing. Let's see if there's any differences right here. And I'll just uh, skip this while it's flashing. Okay, and you can see it says successful here. So we're gonna reboot the system. Swipe to install root. I don't think this is actually gonna work, but we'll, uh, we'll just do that in a way. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Galaxy S4. Waiting for it to boot. And here we go, Google. Wow, look at this boot animation. This is new. I guess this is what the Google the Google edition Galaxy S4 got. So due to the fact that this was actually for the Google edition, it is kind of a port but it's all working, all your Wi-Fi, LTE, all that stuff is working, so it's not really, I mean, it is a port, but it's all really functional, so you can go ahead and flash this. And I don't know how long this is gonna take, so again, I will skip it. Okay, and here we go, we've booted up, so we'll just quickly start this up right here. No SIM card inserted, blah, blah, blah. Skip this Wi-Fi for now. Okay, and here we go, we've booted up, so let's see what the uh, settings are saying. It's all very nice and clean, stock Android. And there you can see Android version 4.3. We'll just tap this a few times. Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. So far, I haven't noticed any differences, to be honest with you. You know, it's all very quick and fast. Let's just quickly check something kind of interesting. We'll go into the um, system apps and see if they say Android 4.3 as well, because that's kind of a big thing. Maybe not Chrome. What's a, what's a proper system app here? Contacts. Okay, contact, Contacts version 4.3, so this does look to be real. This is Android 4.3 right here. You know, you can see they've all got that version number 4.3, so this definitely does seem to be Android 4.3. So there you have it, guys. That's uh, Android 4.3. We'll, uh, we'll check this out a little bit more in a different video. But uh, yeah, peace out.